Reasons behind immigration can be many. Some migrate because of monetary reasons, while others aspire to improve their quality of life. When they face hurdles, some go back, thus we face reverse migration. Hi, my name is Sunny, and a quick like share alongside smashing that like button will be highly appreciated. Recently, more immigrants are going back. Canada is a land of immigrants where the population growth is fueling our economy. So this increased rate of reverse migration could be a cause of concern. Not seeing enough benefits of moving to Canada is the main reason behind it. New generation immigrants arrive as they aspire for better quality of life. Maybe Canada is failing to meet expectations for some of them. Surely, there might be multiple reasons that drive some of them back home or to better pastures. I believe some tangible action need to be taken so that Canada remains the prime destination for newcomers. If you have considered moving away from Canada, you are definitely not alone. In spite of being a fantastic country to live, there are challenges some newcomers face. No doubt, some consider high cost of living, stagnant incomes, extreme weather etc. too much to handle. But I believe there are more positives than negatives as far as Canadian life is concerned. Dual citizenship with no residential obligation for citizens enables migrants to move back home while they can still enjoy benefits of being a Canadian citizen. Still, some newcomers undergo reverse migration, thus we need to introspect and change so that we attract newcomers. For a very long time, Canada's economy, which is part of NAFTA, remains a robust economic engine. But to quell high inflation, Bank of Canada started increasing rates thus making life for Canadians challenging financially. Increased cost of living, skyrocketing real estate prices in major Canadian cities gave impression to newcomers that it is an expensive country to settle. Gone are the days when people immigrate to put food on the table. Most of them come to have a better quality of life. So when newcomer faces hardships, they start making plans to move on or go back home. Hope you get my point. Canada has a long history where people immigrate from all over the world. Some of them have deep connections with their heritage as most of their extended family is back home. I know it is not an easy task to settle in a faraway land that too when you are facing a struggling period. Lot of them face challenges to settle financially, while others' education or experience is not accepted as such. Under such emotional and financial hardships, some start to wonder, weren't they better off back home? Their whole idea was to improve their quality of life, but now they have to start from scratch. Lately, we are facing cost of living crisis in Canada. Consequently, a new immigrant has to face long commutes as they can't afford to live close to where they work. Also increased congestion in bigger cities reduces their quality of life. A new family faces challenges like overpriced housing, overcrowded schools, long wait time in hospital emergencies just to get medical attention to just name a few. I believe rapid infrastructure upgradation is lacking while immigration is surging. Therefore, some new immigrants get disillusioned by what they have to face daily while struggling to settle in a new country. Canadian life on YouTube looks very promising, so we make unrealistic expectations. Landing in a new country, getting your basic IDs, Finding affordable housing 
or job in your related field could be challenging to start with. On top of it, Canada does not look like fall throughout the year. Depending upon where you intend to settle, long spells of rainfall, few months of sub-zero temperature could be daunting for a new immigrant. Inability to find managerial position that you might have back home and starting from scratch can be daunting for some. Therefore, easy solution for them is a reverse migration. I believe nothing in life is impossible if you put your heart and mind onto it. Therefore, settling in a new country is no different. Surely, we have preferences and have to make certain sacrifices for it. Just keep in mind that setting in a new country far from home may not be ideal for everybody. Like they say, all that glitters is not gold is certainly true. But I believe the ones who go through this few years of challenging time surely enjoy the Canadian life we all aspire to achieve when we came initially. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Please consult one before investing based on your personal financial situation. And don't forget to do your own due diligence. If you like the content that I make, Please help me and my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.